Hi, Gemini. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, for those that are, are new, also welcome in. I do Gemini readings once a week. I post them every Saturday morning. I started being consistent about a month or two ago. I would very much like to grow your cohort. So please like, share, subscribe. Leave me your comments down below. I read everything. And yeah, so let's see what's going on mid-June. All right. For those of you um, who are new and haven't experienced one of my readings, I don't usually sugarcoat. So I hope you can bear with me. Your situation, it looks like um, you're having a passionate new beginning, but at the same token, you feel like you're left out in the cold. What is that all about? What's interesting to me is that I do see a relationship coming. I do see you pairing up here with somebody. I say that because at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. For me, the bottom of the deck is in a few weeks, a few months. It's, it's coming down the road. It's coming down the pike. But on the table right now for this week, I do see a passion in your beginning, but at the same token, you're out in the cold. Bizarre to me. We'll see. What's coming towards my um, Gemini's, please? I wanted to see what was going to come out, but didn't. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be. For me, the kings are the incoming energy. You are my queens, okay? So for those of you that are new um, on YouTube, and only for YouTube because it's a large audience, you are my queens, whether you're male or female. Incoming energies for me are the kings. I, I don't do this for private readings, only for YouTube because you are a large audience. So we can discern who's who. Now, with that said... Uh, I have a Sagittarius here, Aries, and Leo. Um, naturally, you don't have to be dealing with those signs, but the person that you are dealing with is somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with, a lot of passion, someone very attractive. But the Knight of Wands to me makes me feel like this is casual. This is like a fling. It's in and out. It's like an affair. Uh, it's in the upright position, so I know it's not a one-night stand. I think it's an ongoing situation. And the Seven of Wands. Someone here is resisting this connection. It's either you or them. Now, I see them in the upright position, so they're not exactly rejected. So you didn't reject them, and they didn't reject you, but someone is resisting this and keeping it quite casual. What this is doing, though, is creating burdens for you. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. And under that is the Two of Wands. And under that is either third-party situation or... Or a reconciliation. You're debating whether you should reconciliate. You're creating burdens. Or someone is here. All right. What is in Gemini C coming? There goes those burdens. Off you load. You're like, I don't need this. But you are going to take a leap of faith. You are going to take a risk. This is an Aries energy. Three of Swords, something that's profoundly painful for you. Something I feel like you feel you can't live without. It's still coming. It's still coming, this, this pairing, this relationship. The, why I love the Two of Cups, though, is because you're soulmates and you both feel mutually. You both feel the same way. This is the most natural card to have because this is also free will. It's yours and theirs. And under that, my friends, is commitment relationship. Very interesting. So why are you sitting here nursing a broken heart and taking a leap of faith considering just going off on your own? Because you don't want to deal with the burdens. I really can't wait to clarify that. I need to understand what that is. Let me see your advice. Gemini advice, mid-June, please. Again, time and energy is fluid. For some of you, this just happened. Others of you, it's going to have happened. Some of you, it could have been a week ago, two weeks ago. Others of you, it's in the coming weeks. So please take everything with a grain of salt. You need to pause and reflect right now the time and energy that you have spent here with this individual. 
all right? But you're kind of like, I don't know if you're sort of sweeping things under the rug, Gemini, like hear no evil, see no evil, I don't want to know about this kind of thing, and you're just like pushing it aside. Um, but Spirit's like, no, you, you kind of got to take a pause. You got to take a beat and think about this. Think about the time and energy you invested. Um, you need to weigh your pros and cons. You really do. And maybe you're just not. You're just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with it. It's just too many, you know, rods on my back. Why should I have them there? So goodbye. But Spirit's like, hold on a second. You can't throw out the baby with the bathwater. <laughs> Let's see. We'll clarify. We'll see what's going on. Let me see the outcome for the week, please. I cannot believe it has not gone away, this Two of Cups. Um... In your outcome, you have the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the World. You guys are trying to start a new cycle in your lives. You're trying to start a new um, chapter, okay, with the world. But you feel like you're mentally trapped or stuck, so thus, therefore, in conclusion, you can't work things out with this individual. It could be because it was a third-party energy or third-party person. Now, whatever the, or, you know, or third party, like I said, situation. With that said, you feel like you're trapped and you're mentally stuck and you can't get out of something. So you're not sitting here collaborating with this individual and instead is you're, you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about doing the new thing and starting a new chapter in your life. And just like I said, throwing out the baby with the bathwater. I don't, regardless of what you're, you're doing, you are doing this, Okay. But this is just a weekly reading, so obviously I see next week being a hella different because I see something coming down the pike. Now let's start clarifying and see what's going on. Look, wow, I really can't wait to do your reading like next week or the following week because I think things are changing for you. Drastically. Look at this. Who does this? Who has a passion in new beginning yet feels left out in a cult? What? And I know you feel some sort of pain because here it is, Three of Swords. Guys, I'm not looking for a particular, you know, um, cohort to read for. I just read the cards, what Spirit wants me to read for. So this is why I'm direct. This is why I'm confident in things that I'm saying, because this is the storyline. I cannot change it, manipulate it, or make it any different. So it's either your story or it's not. But those of you who are resonating with this, you'll understand what I'm saying, because I can see things in this pattern. This is why I have this particular spread for all my, you know, all my readings. I find it so fascinating and interesting. And then when I do the clarifiers, that's when I get to the nitty gritty, the details. So this is the future stuff. Let's see your current situation because this is really the person I'm reading for. And make no fucking mistake why I use two decks. I use two decks because if the cards start coming out and they start repeating, its spirit is doubling down on the messages. Look what just fell out as I just was holding the new deck. It's the Three of Swords. You have the Three of Swords right here, and the Three of Swords came out again. This is profound pain. Uh, this is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. You Look at this. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck and Two of Cups. Two different decks. There's 78 cards in each deck. Do you know what the mathematical probability of the same card coming out at the same exact time in the same exact position is pretty damn rare, except when Spirit gets involved. They're being matter-of-fact. That's why I'm confident in the things that I'm saying in case you're wondering how I'm reading like this. All right, so going back to you, the Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Wow, there's your Two of Cups. You're initiating a passionate new beginning where it's mutual. You guys are soulmates. You both feel the same way. This person has the potential to get your ass unstuck. Really, truly. All right, so I don't know why you're feeling this, you know, left out in the cold unless you're feeling some sort of financial pinch, crunch. Look at this, someone's avoiding communicating. Why is the Five of Pentacles particularly their spirit? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
you feel something is hopeless. That's why you feel left out in the cold. You think that you're doing something here with someone that it's going to go a certain way, Gemini? You think it's hopeless? It's not. Clearly, it's not. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is no joke. Do you know how many times, often enough, I'm doing readings for people? I see Four of Cups, which is Runner Chaser, Unrequited Love, or I see Ten of Swords, or I see, you know, all this other horrible stuff. I'm not seeing that here with you. I'm seeing your pain. I do. I do see you feeling hopeless. I do see you feeling left out in the cold. But ironically, whoever you're dealing with feels the same feelings that you have for them as they do for you. What? But there's resistance here. Let's get into the future stuff. King of Pentacles and the High Priestess in reverse and the Higher Font in reverse. I'm not sure in the past <clears throat> you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It does not have to be. It was somebody that you had stability with. Financial stability, emotional, whatever, groundedness, blah, blah, blah. You might not have been talking. You might have been on and off with this individual, and now you're talking again. However, I do have a different energy over here, this fire sign, this chemistry person. You're resisting this individual over here because there is somebody else in your sphere, somebody where you are talking to, again, that you had stability with, but you had a, um, a broken commitment with them maybe a broken marriage. And this is why you're resisting the other individual. And this is why you think it's hopeless because of this. And this could be also why you're also feeling a little bit stuck. I'll get there. Let's see what's going on here with this three of swords. And I think it hurts you to leave this other person that feels mutually as you do, whoever you're loving over here. What's the fool? the three of swords and the ten of wands in reverse you're not putting work and effort into something anymore you're taking you're think you're going to take a leap of faith and a risk i think onto yourself you're like fuck it i'll leave everybody the stable one and and the passionate one you're like i'm not going to invest time and energy in either guess what though gemini guess what that's something toxic this is you telling yourself, and this is what you're doing is fear-based. I'm not good enough. This isn't going to work out. I'm not attractive. I don't make enough of money. I'm this. I'm that. I'm none of that. The devil can hear your thoughts. The energy is what you're putting out there, and it's seeping into you. Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. You're not, you're, you're emotionally shutting down out of fear. Let's get into your advice. Why you, you have the seven of pentacles. Whatever had happened to you in the past, you really need to heal from it, Gemini. You really, really do. You know you're holding on to somebody, okay? Because right now you're not living a life of wish fulfillment. It's nine of cups in reverse, Maybe you're doing something that's like overindulging in something also you need to stop, like drinking, eating, too much TV, whatever it is. Anyway, going back to you in relationship situation, you're holding on to, you have two fours, okay? Fours talk about our stability. It talks about our structure, it talks about our foundation. And these are the things we build our lives off of. Our careers, our relationships, our lives, our livelihoods, we build them off a platform. Our homes is four of wands. Our relationship, it's four of wands. Our job site, our career, that's four of wands. Four of pentacles, holding on to money too tight or a person too tight. The start, being hopeful and positive. Strength, losing your resilience or resistance. And the knight of wands, this is a one night stand. This is an affair. This is fling. This is not good. You need to heal. You need to get more optimistic, Gemini. You need to not fight things or resist things, okay? And you need to be optimistic. And this Knight of Wands, it's like some things you just can't do by the, you know, the fly of your pants, like the seat of your pants. So it's saying that you have to think things through, especially the Knight of Wands. 
and all of these cards are representing the one main card that is your advice which is the seven of pentacles you need to think about this you need to think things through it's saying you can't just run away all right you need to remain optimistic and positive you need to not fight things and resist things Maybe you do need to hold on to something or someone because you also need to heal. If you can't heal from something, a wound that you're damaged from, you can't have something healthy in your future either. All right. So you need to heal whatever that was. Let's see what your outcome is here. Please clarify the two of wands. Three of pentacles in reverse, eight of swords and the world. The problem right now that you're facing right now is be, you are walking away from somebody, all right? The Eight of Cups. You're walking away from somebody because <clears throat> you're really confused regarding your past. It's like somehow, some way, your past has blurred the lines of your future, all right? Because you are sitting here trying to debate which is your right path, which is your right person. So instead, you're like, let me do the new thing and start a new chapter because that situation, I'm just going to get stuck again, right? Why should I collaborate? But it's also something very confusing. So instead of you dealing with this, Gemini, you're trying to ignore your past here with somebody. And you're walking away. I don't think that's going to be for long. Because what's going to happen is you're going to end up being, you're going to stalk. You're going to resonate and stew in this pain. And then you're going to go back, I think, to this person. Or this person's going to come back to you. And I think you're going to find your ways back together again. I just, that's just my guess because I kept seeing two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I, and I feel like you left something because you think it won't work out. I see you doing that here, but there, that's, I don't know. I don't feel like that's going to be the case. Let me see what romance angels think here. What do you think spirit is going on here between them? One more. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if some of you guys are suffering a little bit of guilt. See, if we were doing extended, we would clarify this because it says you deserve love. But I don't know why my intuition for you, Gemini, is saying that maybe you think you don't. Maybe you think you don't deserve love because out of guilt or something that you had done in your past, you need to forgive yourself, first of all. Second of all, this is also why you're having the healing card. You need to resolve this because there could be potentially somebody who will love you and give you the love that you need. Now, this was the additional card. The ones that originally came out is retreat and very soon. You have retreated. You took a step back. I could see it here. This is why I'm like saying don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. And you're going to have to make a decision. I always get very soon when it, it's when I'm not sure about a person or an individual, whether I want to commit to them, whether I want to have a life with them, I'm not certain. And this is what I end up doing. I end up doing this two of wands thing. I think about my future because the one rod represents the past and the other rod represents the future. And the future, there's nobody. It's just a walking cane. It's like I'm doing a walkabout into my new path. All right. And that's why it's saying very soon you're going to have to make a choice because if you don't want this individual, throw the throw this little fish back into the sea. The universe is going to recycle and they're going to find somebody for them if you don't want them. So spirits like, yeah, OK, you retreated. Now make a choice of what you're going to do. All right. Let's get one card of advice. And you know what? I'm also going to plug in my phone, my phone, the computer before I lose you all. All right gemini please i'm like bowie in your face <laughs> gemini please i wonder if i can add a bowie song to the video clip that would be pretty funny all right let me see what you have here trapped yep there's your eight of swords trapped i'm gonna read this though because it's got advice which i love um and oath and I think Oath goes back to um, you deserve love. 
all right? Because you make an oath to yourself also to respect and honor thyself. Now, let's see what trapped is. My dear sweet child, do you feel as if you're trapped in your life right now? Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that you may not be able to fulfill? This is why you deserve love, by the way. Do you feel as if you'll never get what you want or go where you want to go? And this is why you also had the star in reverse, because you thought something would be hopeless. Have patience, for truly you are in a temporary prison. A temporary prison. Listen to this. For truly you are in a temporary prison that exists only in your mind. Your circumstances, no matter what they are, will change. And you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote. And of course, patience. Consider the story of the half-raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally follows his heart. Trust in me, for I will show you when the cage doors open that you can truly fly free. And there's the raven. When this cage opens, you'll be able to fly free. Oath. Let's read Oath. Because this is an oath to yourself, okay? And this may be why you had the Nine of Cups in reverse, because maybe you are pushing off your own personal happiness. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol of oath. This is the symbol for all promises and a reminder to keep one that you have made. An oath is never made lightly or in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's a time you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let that person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make to yourself is promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise. All right, Gemini, this is what I have for you. This was a great reading in my mind. Um, please leave me your comments down below, and I will see everybody next week. Have a good one.